Most people don't know this, but atoms can act like waves too. You think of light acting like a wave, atoms can act like a wave. And so when we isolate the atoms in these vacuum chambers, we can exploit their wave properties to do very precise measurements of acceleration and rotation. And so we've built an atom interferometric gyroscope where um, we take the individual atoms and we probe them in a way where we can cause them to split into two parts. It's one atom that we create a quantum superposition of the atom in different states. And then we can cause them to split and recombine. And then when they do that, they interfere with themselves. And that determines what state they end up in. We don't do anything with the nucleus. It's all with the electrons in the atom. And, and so that's a concept that's very common in atomic clocks, and that's that we can create these quantum superposition states where an atom is simultaneously in, in more than one state. It's a very interesting experiment, um, and it's recently started to work, and we're very excited about it.